Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning to my channel. Thank you for the trust and for coming back to my readings. Today we are doing a reading for May 2021 for Aquarius. We are starting with the Wisdom of the Oracle, getting your current energy for the May, the month of May. So we have um, a little help, winds changing here and now, woodwork and flexible. Okay. Now I'm feeling for a lot of signs. This is this month is a month of changes, a month of turning around, and you're no different to that. So we have here a helping hand. Okay, so some of you maybe will get a helping hand, some support from some people uh, following your dream, following um, whichever situation you're going through, whether this is some situations in work, maybe there's some um, hard situations that you're going through, whether it's the current global situation and your work could be at risk or it could be some situation putting a lot of pressure on you, whatever it is, okay? Then we have the winds changing, okay? So again, a turn, a turning the page here. There could be something that it's totally gonna shake up and maybe wake you up from a situation or be, maybe is just, completely changing the situation to and you're like okay this is the time to move i need to focus on what's happening here and i really feel these five cards are like a story here i really need to focus on the here and now and not focusing so much on the past or in the future of course once i work on the present i'm working towards my future However, if I'm just holding on to the future, I just don't do anything towards it because I'm not focused on my present. I'm not focused on what's happening here and now. I'm not focusing if I want to build up a project, if there's something that needs to be healed, need to be worked on. Because what I feel here is that you have a big wish here that you want to open doors for. Okay, so it's really necessary that you are present here and now so you can work on that, okay, and prepare the field for the future. So for this preparing for the future, preparing on the here and now, living in the present moment, change whatever needs to be changed, there's some, I would even say a lot of woodwork needs to be done. So there's a lot of things that need to be clear, whether this is relationships, emotions, feelings, situations, people, work, uh, mindset, okay? Whatever it is, if there's, it feels like there's some things that normally you would be like, oh yeah, it's okay, you know? Um, I don't know, someone, uh, what I'm feeling is like someone offended you and you're like, oh, it's okay. But deep inside you're hurt, you're in pain, but you're not telling anyone. So it's time for you to get rid of these feelings. It's time for you for, to get rid of maybe some people that they don't resonate with you, with your feelings, with your life anymore. And as well, it's time for you, if you have to do a lot of changes here, it's time as well for you to be flexible, okay? And to learn to maneuver the situations, feelings, emotions, maybe don't think, don't take things so personally and focus more on what you want, a new project, on your, on your, a new baby, a new project, okay? On your life, on your future, and let the rest just let it be okay but definitely focusing on yourself so there's a lot going on for you this may 2021 but let's get some messages here from the tarot and see what's going on for you for may One more shuffle and then we're good to go for your reading. 
If you're enjoying this reading, I'll invite you to like and subscribe to my channel, okay? Also, let me know in the comments below how this resonates with you. Um, okay, I do enjoy all your messages, comments, feedbacks. So we're starting here with the page of coins and the seven of cups. As I mentioned before, you are looking for a new adventure, maybe something needs to be changed because the winds are changing, so uh, making changes in your life. And the thing is the seven of cup, the seven of cups, it's um it's coming to me as there are different areas in your life that you want to change. Okay, there's different areas in your life that you want to work on. But I would say start working in one of them. The one that it's coming to me, if you see here, you have different options here. Okay, you have different situations. What's coming into me more attentively, it's this one here, which, which um, connects more into your spirituality. When I come into your spirituality, I'm definitely not talking about your religion, okay, and all like that. I'm I'm working more on to working on yourself, growing, okay, developing, uh, following what you believe, figure out what you believe, what you want from your life, okay, and not what other people want from you, okay, because we have this page of wands here, and for some reason, this page of wands, it's like someone is spying on you, Someone is actually watching your steps, is, is watching what you're doing. Okay. Um, and this person is definitely not happy with what you're, you're doing or what you're pondering or your actions or anything like that. Okay. So be aware of the people around you. And this could be definitely related to this woodwork, like cutting some feelings, people, situations from your life, okay? It could be someone that um, hurt you, for some of you. For others, of course, this could be you healing from something, uh, maybe even taking care of yourself, okay? Because the Three of Swords for me is not just about broken hearts, but as well about self-growth, about healing some areas of your life so that you could move on, okay? It doesn't have necessarily to be um, a broken heart, okay? Uh, then King of Swords under the Seven of Cups, definitely, you know exactly what you want to do, you know all the areas you want to make changes or you want to focus on. And you are very strong about that. And I'm, and with this King of Swords here, nothing will stop you once you decide that you want to go and do the things that you want to do. Okay. Another page. Okay. There's a lot of new energies here. A lot of, sorry. <coughs> A lot of new things happening here. And this page of cups definitely brings you um, new ideas. It's bringing you um, fresh ideas, you know, your intuition coming here. And you are maybe new to this, maybe new to uh, listen to your gut, um, following your intuition. You could be new to this and you will stop listening to these people when they're like oh but if you're going this way you're gonna lose everything you know if you're gonna take that turn you're gonna lose all these good cups okay so just be aware of that and in the end we have this king of coins so two kings here I really feel these kings are your energy, okay? It's like you have a very strong will to do things. And once you start putting this, all these changes into action, the result is nothing less than pure happiness, abundance, okay? A lot of abundance here for you. 
Aquarius. So I really feel in this reading that May it's you taking action, you know, cutting things from your life that you've been uh, holding it back. But the universe is literally just putting you the things right in front of you and saying, no more delays. This is the time that you are making the changes for your own happiness. You have the Lotus Flower Fairy, okay, and transformation. So we have Flourish. Look how beautiful she is in the middle there, okay? She's shining wherever she goes. And it says, the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. So definitely you healing, okay, look at this, you healing from any past experiences. As I said, doesn't have to be broken heart. There's a lot of situations in our life that need healing so that we can move on, learn the lesson and move on and maybe even help someone else through our experiences, okay? And then we have transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. I was just literally telling you, the universe is going to put things in front of you because there's no more delaying for you. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come, Aquarius. Definitely move forward. Start taking action in whatever it's showing up to you, okay? No more delays. Time to shine. Time to flourish, just like this lotus flower, okay? Lotus flower comes from the mud and shines beautifully. We all have pains and situations in our life. And once they're healed, we come out and we shine bright. We have here synergy, green man, okay? So all these lessons that you're learning, all these healings that you're going through, they just match perfectly to who you are and what you're here for, okay? Every single lesson in your life, every single situation in your life, it's basically just bringing you the knowledge, the experience and the growth and the maturity that you need to be this beautiful person that you're turning into, okay? And use that on your favor, okay? Just, it's time for you to shine bright, to be the best of you, okay? To bring that the beautiful light that you have inside you, okay? And never hold back this beautiful being that you are, okay? Wow, this was very deep for me. I really hope you enjoy this reading, that you resonate with this reading. Please let me know in the, in the comments below. And I really hope you have this wonderful month. Thank you and have a great day.